Picture this. You're going to be hosting a meal, and you know the main guest absolutely loves Bordeaux wines. But how are you going to be able to host a meal with Bordeaux wines if your knowledge of Bordeaux wines is somewhat limited? Hi, I'm Pascal Bernas with French Wine Explorers. We help wine lovers become connoisseurs with our online wine classes and our wine tours to France. So you've been given the task of hosting a wine dinner and you know you're going to offer Bordeaux wines, but you're not sure what kind of meal you can put together. In this episode, we're going to offer you great tips and tricks for meal planning for Bordeaux wine lovers. The first thing you have to make sure you do before you start any of the creative process is determine your budget. Now I know this is not the fun part of the journey, but it's the essential part of the journey because it's going to allow you to determine what wines, how many of those wines you offer, and how many bottles of wines that you're going to need. So first determine your budget. And when I determine my budget, sometimes I think, how much do I want to spend for the entire meal? And let me go with the wine first, and then I'll reverse engineer and pair a meal with that. So that might be a great place to start. Okay, so you figured out your budget. Now let's look at a three course meal that's easy to replicate at home and allows you to have some wine pairings at two different price points. First, when hosting a meal, only cook two dishes. No matter how many courses you have, only cook two dishes. Why is that? You don't want to be frazzled in the kitchen. Your guests don't want to see you frazzled and you need to enjoy yourself. Even better, if you can, have one other person cook one dish and you cook one dish. What this is going to allow you to do is really be there for your guests. For example, Pierre and I will usually split up the tasks. I'll make the dessert and he'll make the main course. The rest we purchase at the grocery store or at a caterer and it works really well and we always enjoy ourselves at meals. Okay, so we figured out our wine budget. We figured out which of the courses we wanna prepare ourselves and which of the courses we're going to go ahead and purchase in advance. First, we'll have some appetizers. Now remember, this is a three course meal. So this is your consider just the pass arounds. And for that, I would recommend something super easy that you don't have to prepare. I recommend sushi. Sushi is easy to find anywhere and can really allow you to offer different options for your guests. To pair with sushi, a great Bordeaux is found in the Entre de Mer. It's actually a quite large region, and in my opinion, an up and coming region for great values. Their whites and their reds are both worth trying. So try an Entre de Mer, um, a white, to go with your sushi. And the price point can go all over the place, but you can really find something high quality under $30. Okay, now if your main guest is a Bordeaux wine lover, there's a really good chance that they love red meat, and I do too. So what I would recommend for the main course is a grilled red meat. Something that's got a little, little bit of marbling to it, so something like a ribeye steak. I absolutely love grilled ribeye steak. You could go with a tenderloin, but there isn't as much fat, so there's a little bit less flavor. Um, and because Bordeaux wines have a little bit more tannins in them, they can handle something that has a little bit more full fat to them. So think of that, prime rib would be delicious. Um, and with that, what would you serve? Now, of your Bordeaux wine budget for this meal, this is where you should spend your money. I would recommend two options, and I actually printed them out for you so you can see. So we talked about entre deux mer, and then I would recommend a Listrac Medoc or a Saint-Julien. A Listrac Medoc will be your least pricey of the two, and it offers great options for you in the $30 range. Now, if you have a special guest or you just really want to enjoy the meal yourself, try a Saint-Julien. Saint-Julien is my favorite appellation in Bordeaux, and it's that perfect blend of power and finesse. Um, there are many classified growths in Saint-Julien that you should try, and I would recommend you go with a Saint-Julien. 
the price point's a little bit higher. So if you're really unsure, stick with the least track middle. Okay. So we've got our pass around and our main course. Now we're going to go to the cheese course. Now I know what you're thinking, but wait a second. The cheese is supposed to be your pass around course. It's supposed to be what you have before the meal. Cheese boards in the United States are usually offered before the meal, but in France, cheese is after the main course. So let's go with the French tradition. If you saw our cheese board video, you'll know that we offer a recommendation of a mild, a hard, and a third cheese. Since this is a Bordeaux themed uh, meal, let's go with the brie for your mild, a farmhouse cheddar for your hard cheese, and a roquefort. Roquefort is a blue cheese. I know that's a very hard word to say, but it's roquefort. Blue cheese, not far from the Bordeaux area, so it would be a great thematic cheese for you. So what are you gonna serve with the cheeses? Well, if you have red wine that's left over from the main course, that would make a great segue into your cheese course. And if you really wanna up your game, Think about offering a magnum for the main course and then the remainder for the uh, cheese course because this really offers like the wow moment. So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, the red's gonna go really well with that farmhouse cheddar, but that hopeful is gonna be a little bit of a challenging pairing and I would recommend a sauterne with that. Sauterne is the sweet wine made from what we call noble rot into liquid gold. And so Taryn is kind of having a, a second wave, a new wave of fans who really love it and make it a little bit more of a contemporary type of wine. So let's recap. It's easy to offer a Bordeaux themed meal with wines from Bordeaux that will satisfy just about any palate. We're gonna first start with a pass around of sushi and entre deux mer. Then we're gonna go for the big guns with some grilled red meat and either a Saint-Julien or a Listrac Medoc. We're going to offer a cheese course and stay in the traditional French way and continue with our red wine that we've offered. And for all of those Sauterne lovers, this would be the great opportunity to pair Sauterne with the blue cheese. And last but not least is the dessert. And for the dessert, you just want to make sure the dessert is not more sweet than your sauterne, if you're offering sauterne. So keep that in the back of your mind. If your dessert is sweeter than your sauterne, it's going to make the sauterne taste bitter. So we have three courses plus a pass around, and you're going to only make two of those courses in order to elevate the fun factor for you as the host. And last but not least, your guests are going to feel the love, the determination, and the dedication you've put into this meal for it to be a success. So I say congratulations. Thank you for watching. Pop a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or ideas of things that you would like for us to cover. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.